what's going on guys so today i'm going to be doing another video and today like from yesterday i did the unboxing of the christmas eve uh soap that my viewer uh sent me uh nathan kimball really awesome guy uh today i'm going to be using christmas eve for the very very first time i gotta wait to use this I have my Mule R106 ready with a treat uh, blade. I got my Sterling uh, uh, synthetic brush ready. And if I find it real quickly, uh, here it is. My John and John on standby. Let me get my face wet real quickly. Yeah, like I said in yesterday's video, uh, it was really nice of him to do what he did. Because when I shot that video on the 25th of July, it's the 2nd of August right now. Uh, he sent me a message and said, hey, I can actually get you some uh where i live if that's possible and like i said uh yesterday in the video i only made almost like a three minute video just showing why that but i uh i was still a little bit hesitant because i've never done that before so now will i will i let people send me other stuff i don't know i really don't know but the funny thing is uh last night i was going through my phone because i have a lot of stuff on my phone that i normally uh have saved you know like doctor's appointments and all this stuff and blood sugar stuff and i just have to like look and i've seen uh i've seen uh, soaps, you know, I have like soaps that I've won and, and play on getting in the very first one that was on my list was actually Christmas Eve, so I got to take that off. All right, first pass with Christmas Eve. I cannot wait. Yeah, I love this scent. It reminds me of back in Michigan or Colorado where it snows, you know. It reminds me of uh, having hot cocoa. Or, or one of my other uh, uh, soaps, hot apple cider, reminds me of drinking hot apple cider or something warm, you know. It's a really nice, warm scent. It also reminds me of, like, on Christmas Eve, like, baking cookies, you know? It reminds me of that. And it literally, this is probably for one of the uh, seasonal, uh, uh, one of the seasonal soaps that I own. I own a lot. This is probably going to be up there, like either F1 or 2. 
could. I love the scent. Nice, warm, beautiful scent. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. It's a, uh, a second pass. It's one of those that you could, that you could like uh, envision the Christmas holiday season. Just using this. Like I said, it's very warm. Like, not like hot warm, but it has that warm effect of you feel as if you were in the snow, but you're, it's pulled out, but you're, but you're bundled up, you know? It's one of those, and it's really amazing. And this thing lathers really, really well. And again, Nathan, I know I've said this yesterday in my unboxing video Nathan thank you again for sending this to me you really didn't have to do that so seriously think I don't even know where you would buy this from I live like there's no one. the only place I know to buy soap is is uh uh the art of shaving. But I can actually smell the mistletoe in this. I literally can smell it. I can smell the fern or the fur. I can smell the mistletoe and, and I get that little hint, the little hint of the cranberry. And a little hint of vanilla too, so it's it's a really well put together blend of all these spices and everything. Last pass. I feel like I want to start listening to Christmas music. Actually, I was like, uh, actually not yesterday, but on the uh, 30th or 31st of uh, July, my son asked a certain device. I don't want to say it because uh, it will probably hear me in the other room, but it starts with an A. You know who I'm talking about. But he asked her, hey, play Christmas classics, and it did, so. And he's just like me. He loves Christmas. He, he loves the holidays. And I believe my daughter's going to be the same way. Because my wife believes. She actually tried saying Santa a few nights ago. She's only one, but still. And I also love, love this because 
I love Christmas. I love the holiday season. So, using something year round. Now, this might be my only time using it before uh, the holiday season now. So I was joking around with uh, Nathan. I said, hey, thanks again. I'll probably do a, uh, uh, do an unboxing and I probably won't use it till like November. Because November, holidays, you know. Which I still can't believe it is uh, already August 2nd. You know, it, it's crazy to me that we are on the second day of August already. for sending this to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. John and John. I'm only getting a few spots because I don't want the uh, thing to overpower. And again, this is not an overpowering uh, soap. This is one soap that if you use, you know, and and that that thing with my channel, I don't I don't use a soap back to back to back to back. Like again, I would use like say I would use uh, Pincenza one day. I would use uh, our shavings. Bergamot and Aroli the next day, and so on and so forth. I I can't justify using one soap every single day. I know some people can, but me, I like I like a variety. I like I like different scents. I like different variety of what I use, what what uh razors I use, because today I used my uh mule. R106, maybe tomorrow or the next day, depending on when I decide to shave again. I'll use my, uh, my, uh, this one. I can't think of it right now. My, my mind's, uh, blanking out. Or I might use the, the Vader thing. You never know. You never know what, what razor, razor I'll use for a uh, shave just like the uh, uh, soaps. I don't know which one I want to use. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you, Nathan. Thank you for sending that to me. I highly appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave comments down below, and as always, uh, have a great day and happy shaving.